fightbeats.com. Yo, 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 it's Kilo Show. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to the Kilo Show. So, so, today's video, as you read in the title, are tips and tricks to do you, boo-boo. We're going to say that again. Tips and tricks to do you, boo-boo. <laughs> okay, so... I am a person who I take joy in being able to do my own hair, being able to do my own makeup, being able to repair my clothes when I need to and everything like that. And just, can we just give it up for like this, this dress? I feel like I look cute. My daddy saw me and asked, what was I going? I'm not going nowhere because I don't really have no life, but it's okay. Anyway. <laughs> I'm a person who takes joy in being able to <clears throat> use my gifts and my hands and my talents to be able to um, keep myself looking good. So today I'm going to share with you all some of the things that come in handy for me. First tip, <clears throat> I like makeup. I enjoy wearing makeup, but I don't want to wear makeup every day. I don't wear makeup every day, but on days when I want to get a little bit cuter, I do foundation and moisturizer so i'm gonna do it as i go along and this is not a this is not a mukbang if i'm saying that right but i'm low-key hungry so if you see me eating just grab something to eat and eat with me i mean we can feast together so I, it's real simple i just take some moisturizer whatever moisturizer i choose to take and i oh before i do that i take some eye cream i take my eye cream and I just put it underneath my eyes or like on the dry spots of my face. And it's real simple. If you want, if you got a date night or something like that, and you want to get a little cute and you don't want to do too much because who really feels like putting on a whole face of my foundation? Like I watch videos and stuff like that and not a whole face foundation, but a whole, a whole shebang. I don't know. And if you can see that, just brighten the under eye a little bit. And I use my, what's this finger? This your thumb, this your index, this your middle, this your pinky, this, what's this? Your fourth, <laughs> is this your fourth finger? This your fourth, but your thumb not a finger. Your thumb is a finger. No, it's not. Your thumb is a thumb. It's your index finger. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I use this finger, and I just dab it underneath there, cause you don't want to put too much pull and tug on your un, un, on your under eye skin. And then I just mix it together, mix it together, mix it together. Yeah. And then I just go in like this. Boom. Chicka boom. Chicka bow. Chicka Bow Wow. And then, everybody don't have makeup brushes or stuff like that. I have makeup brushes, but this is for the people who want a little bit similar and it's tip. So, we're just gonna rub it in. Rub it in evenly, 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 evenly. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but it just added a little bit of coverage. Just a quick little shebang. And then I just add my, this is like some real quick makeup. I'm in a rush, I'm already late and he gonna be waiting on me. So let me just hurry up and do what I gotta do. I don't know what my other, found, my other mascara is, but you do that, mix your foundation with your moisturizer, and then, oh, oh, no mirror. I do, but I don't have a hand, hand, hand held mirror. So 
So I'm gonna just do this real quick, quick little shebang. And that's all it is for the face. So I don't have the fullest lips, but a little, little, why I sound slow? A little trick, a little trick that I like to do. Let me wipe this off because before I started recording this video, my lips was crusty, dusty, busty, musty. I'm not, I'm not musty. No, I'm not, but, um, take that off and get my lip pencil. With a little bit of, with a little color to it. What color is this? It's like prune or something. I'm lining my lips. I line my lips. Then I take my little pink lip gloss. So I either take this one or this one. Two of my favorite. Boom, shake a bell, shake a bell. I'm gonna just go right over my lip. And then it looked like I've been sucking on chicken chicken grease. But nah. <laughs> uh another trick is for people like me who struggle with their hair. I have had shortcuts, I have dyed my hair, I have done sew-ins and wigs and a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. But Healthy hair is moisturized hair, hair that is taken care of. So every day I don't have the time to part my hair in the sections and moisturize and oil and everything like that. It takes a lot. So what I like to do before I get in the shower, either in the morning time or at night, <clears throat> I get my shower cap. I get my shower cap and I take my wild growth oil and my As I Am Double Buttercream I oil my scalp and I run a double butter through my hair, running through my hair. I put my shower cap on and it's like a deep conditioning treatment in like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, depending on however long your shower is. If you got a good shower head, it could be very long. <laughs> oh, you nasty. <laughs> if you ain't old enough, you ain't old enough. And like I said, it's not a mukbang, but I'm hungry. And my mouth a little dry, so. Next few tips and tricks are for the girls with the big titties. Big titty committee. And you ain't even, they ain't even gotta be that big. But I'm a D and I know that it's certain outfits that I like to wear, but bras don't work or the bra strap show or a whole bunch of hoopla. So another trick is <clears throat> duct tape, duct tape, duct tape, duct tape. I've done so many fashion shows I can't even I can't even remember them all but I've done a lot of fashion shows and one thing that is always who are always left SOL when it comes down to taking care of your girls backstage are your boobs we always get left hanging like <laughs> that was so corny but it's true so what I did with my last fashion show is that I told, um, we asked for duct, for boob tape. Now, if you're not familiar with boob tape from the store, sis, listen to me. They will give you a box of double-sided tape that is called boob tape. And I promise you, the strips will be like this small. Now imagine me putting, if I put this right here, what the, what's this doing 
for all of this. I still got boob left. What are we gonna do with that? So, this is what I did. You know what I did? I decided I'm gonna use duct tape. I saw it from, I got this idea from Edicel Baleen. She's here on YouTube. Oh, one thing you can do, depending on your boob size, depending on your boob make and everything like that. For me, I'm like in the beginning stages of the duct tape. Of, you know, I don't need that much. So I take a little bit and I start on this side of my breast. And okay, this is gonna look real crazy, but stick with me. So I take here, and for this dress in particular, I would take it about here, right? And I will hold my boobs. If you need to lay down on your bed, cause you know, I mean, well, your titties can slide, slide to the sides, but <laughs> they may slide to the side, but if you hold them with one arm, not one hand, one arm, and you pull it across, then it promotes your boob lift. You feel me? And if you need to take some more tape and push them and you need to take some more tape and put them under and pull them up and everything like that, do it and make yourself an at home bra, strapless bra. I'm trying to tell you, it works. But one thing that you cannot do when you do that, do not, I repeat, do not moisturize this part of your body. If you're gonna wrap the tape all the way around, I don't, I don't suggest you do that because that can be very painful. Very, very painful. So when you do that, before, when you get out the shower, don't moisturize your boobs. You can moisturize the top of them. And that's the part, that's the only part. But I wouldn't even say do that because you know, you moisturize the top and then you gotta get the whole shebang. Don't do that. Cause the tape will start sliding, especially if it's hot outside. So this is what you do. You take it from one side, boom. Get a couple more strips, boom. Or if you need to take them from the bottom to the top and lift them suckers up, do what you gotta do. But don't moisturize. Now, when it comes time to remove the tape, when it's time to remove the tape, you wanna get out of your clothes, get undressed, everything like that, and you start your shower. Now you know when your shower starts, the bathroom, the humidity in the bathroom will allow the tape to begin to slide off and it'll make it easier for you to take it off. But if you a triple OG, I ain't even gonna say that. Don't rip the tape off. Don't rip the tape off. You can use baby oil gel and massage the tape off. Do not rip the tape off because if you rip the tape off, you're going to get scarring because you're ripping your skin, you're, you're pulling your skin off. Oh, I don't know if I shave, but yeah. You, you're ripping your skin off, so don't do that. I do not recommend doing that. Now, a problem that comes, another problem that comes along with having boobs bigger than the size B. Yeah, under boobs. Your under boobs be sweating. They be, they, they sweat. They sweat. Lord, they sweat. So, <laughs> <laughs> duct tape is not for the moments when you know when you know you about to get nasty. It's just not. If you're going on a date, or even during the day, or wherever you're going, but especially if you're going on a date, and there's a possibility of you getting some at the end of the night, don't use duct tape. You wanna know why I say don't use the duct tape? Because y'all get to go and get to go and get to go and get to go. And then you gotta run to the bathroom and try. You run to the bathroom and you rip that tape off. Your nipples gonna fall off. Your nipples gonna fall off. So don't do that. Don't do that. The duct tape is not for the night when somebody gonna see your baby. It's just not for it. It's not. You better wear a regular bra or a strapless bra and just fight through it. But yes, for under boob, <clears throat> body oil, scented body oil. Mix my lotion 
with my baby oil gel. And that promotes nice, good, you know, soft skin, so when he rub on you, you like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. But anyway, yes. And then after I finish um, moisturizing my body, I take my body oil and I put a little bit in the middle of my cleavage. And then I may take a little bit and put it underneath my boobs. Underneath my boobs. So even when I put my bra on, cause let's just be honest, I'm gonna keep 100 with y'all. In the same way, your underarms can sweat without deodorant and get musty, your underboobs can too. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Your underboob, if you're a woman and I don't, I don't know about Flatchester women because I ain't never been Flatchester. I, I never been Flatchester. So I don't know about them. Maybe they don't get it. But if you have boobs and you have a nice size boob or whatever, your boobs can sweat and get musty. <laughs> your boobs can sweat and get musty whether you have on a bra, whether you don't have a bra on. It's just, it, it, it just happens. It just happens. Even some guys, some people would think, oh, well, you ain't getting a shower. No, I take like 20 to 30 minute showers. 20 to 30 minute showers. So after that, since we giving solutions, since I just told you I just took a 20, 30 minute shower and now my underboob is sweating because it's musty and it's musty. What else you gonna tell me? Cause I'll wait. Exactly. You don't have the answers, Sway. You ain't got the answers. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> you take some scented body oil and you just put it up underneath there. You put them underneath there. You put your bra on and you go on about your day. And I bet you when I take when I I bet you when I take that bra off at the end of the night, then bitty's gonna be smelling good. STO. Now just pair my heels, right? Pair my heels. STO means that your toe is coming over your heel like this. I just gotta take a moment. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Get a good look. Your toes are never meant to be hanging over your shoe like this. drives me crazy but don't go and moisturize you can moisturize the top of the tip of your toes don't moisturize this part don't moisturize this part all up in here that's critical it's like your shoe starts sliding and slipping and sliding and then you be a kevin uh kevin hart mean and your heels be clicking because you falling and you slipping no another tip some people I am slim. I've been skinny, slim. I prefer slim because I'm not exactly a size zero anymore, but I prefer slim. A lot of people may say, oh, you skinny or anything like that. You don't need to wear no undergarments, no shaper, no anything like that. That's a lie. It's a lie, Your Honor. It's a lie. Shapers or um, spanks or girdles or anything like that. You have to find one that is comfortable with you. It's extremely hard to find one that is comfortable. It is. However, I have my shaper briefs and I got mine from Walmart and I think it was like $10. So my dress is smooth. It's nice and it's smooth and it's comfortable. I have my shorts on underneath here. I don't like having bunches in my dresses. I hate that. If I'm sitting down, then that's understandable. But when I stand up, I want it to be smooth. And that is what it does. It smooths everything out so that you don't have those crunches in your dress. No, that's not what we're doing. So invest in a good pair of, I don't know, uh, of undergarments. <clears throat> invest in it. Um, I know that Kim Kardashian just came out with some, 
but I'm happy with mine. Invest in your pair and you will see how your clothes fall a little bit better. Your dresses, they look a little bit more pulled in because it does pull you in, but you don't want the kind that just sucks you in. No, that is extremely, extremely, extremely uncomfortable. Extremely uncomfortable, no. You just want something that's going to smooth it out. Smooth it out. Depending on your dress or your outfit, it it decides what undergarment is required. Now, I'm gonna take a sip before I, before I give y'all this last tip. And I'm taking a bite of my chip. Cause this one about to hit y'all. <laughs> so, one tip. <laughs> Is one tip. <laughs> if you are a woman, and this is for the women, it's just one tip, one word, one keyword, one piece of advice. Shower head. Okay. <laughs> so that concludes my tips and tricks to help you do you, boo boo, but a better you, boo boo. I have enjoyed recording this video for you all and I enjoy you all support so much for watching the video my first video at this moment right now is almost at a it's almost at a hundred views Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy and that was so hard uh, the first video I recorded that video like four times and it wasn't even a whole bunch of special effects or anything like that but it it and then after that the second video and learning editing software it was hard it was hard and I'm still learning and I'm still growing and I'm still understanding things better but before I conclude this video I would like to say if you have something I'm going to say this without crying because I'm just stepping into a new season of my life so if you have something that you want to do and you're passionate about it do it do it do it <laughs> when when troubles come when troubles come you focus on what you're doing you pray like everything depend you pray like everything depends on god and you work like everything depends on you you keep going you keep going and when you start new adventures the same people that were there before that adventure may not be there with you on that adventure or even after but that's not why you're doing it that's not why you're doing it that's not so keep on doing it keep going you got to start somewhere everything will not be perfect don't procrastinate work up uh, work 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 dedication <laughs> persevere because when my i had to get a new software for the third time i could have quit I could have just said screw it but when you see that vision when you see that vision <laughs> when you see that vision it is totally worth it because you know and you're working and anything that you put enough time and effort and heart and guts into is going to pay off it's going to pay off it's going to pay off it period 
point blank period, especially, I don't know what you all's faith is, but mine is Christianity. My daddy, I call God my daddy. So, especially when I put it in his hands, he takes care of me. He does. And the same thing that he did for me before, he's going to do it again. And not only again, he's going to do it bigger and better and keep on showing up. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> that's all i wanted to say so that is the conclusion of this video the tips and tricks to help you do you boo boo and, and we gonna hit it one time 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 yo 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 it's kilo show <laughs>